Good morning, Year 9. Today we're continuing on with our linear relationships topic. What we're going to do today, looking at our, um, at our poster of what we need to get from this topic, um, is going to be to identify the X and Y intercepts of line. And we'll also, as we go along, identify the X axis as the line Y equals 0 and the Y axis as the line X equals 0. And we'll see what that means. Um, or we should be able to pick that up as we go through this. So let's have a look at our x and y intercept in the theory that I've got here for this. All right, so the x, the y intercept is the y value where the line cuts the y axis. Now that y axis is this thing down here. So wherever the line goes through it is where it is cutting the y-axis. So it's cutting it right there. And what we notice on this, if we look at our points, um, this is you know x equals 1, x equals 2, x equals 3, etc. Here is where x equals 0. So every single point on this line has a value of x equals 0. So what we'll learn is the actual equation of this line is, um, sorry, wrong thing, is x equals 0. Because y can be any point on that line. y can be um, 1, it can be 2, it can be 3, it can be negative 4, it can be negative 5. So we can't define the y value, you might say. What we do define is that for every single point on that line, x equals 0. So the equation of that line is x equals 0. Now the x-intercept, on the other hand, is where, is, is where the, it's the x value where the line cuts the x-axis. And so our x-axis is this one down here. Again, we're looking for where is our line crossing the x-axis. And there it is there, it's intercepting there. And our x-axis is this thing. What we see again for this, you know, in this point, y equals minus 2, y equals 2, y equals 8, y equals 6, one more, y equals minus 4. But for every single point on this axis, y is equal to 0. So y equals 0 is the actual equation of that axis again on that axis x can have any value x can be here x can be equal to 7 x can be equal to 2 x can be equal to minus 61.7 well it's not even 7 2 4 6 whatever we want that x value can take but the y value is always equal to zero so if we've got a graph all we have to do to find the x intercept is find where the line crosses the x axis and write that value down. X-intercept equals 2. And for the Y one, it's the same thing. Just look and see where it cuts that and go Y-intercept is equal to 4. So when we look at um, you know things that everybody should be able to do and should walk into an exam and say, I 100% can do that. I am always going to be able to answer these questions. These are two of them. Finding the Y-intercept and the X-intercept from a graph is something we should always be able to do. And again, another thing, sometimes we have a table of values over here. Um, interpreting what we just said with, you know, for the x-axis, y is equal to 0, x can be any value. We look for y equals 0. And there it is there, y equals 0. So that means that the x-intercept is 2. So if we're looking for the x-intercept in a table, then what we do is we simply look for the value where y equals 0. Similarly, when we looked at the y-intercept, we said that x is equal to 0. So we look for x is equal to zeros here. What's my y value? My y value is 4. So again, this is something as well. You should give yourself two ticks. I am going to be able to get every single question that's ever asked of me, find the x-intercept out of the table of values. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to remember what I need to do. I might even just do a sketch, a line, to get it clear in my head.
Okay. Now, the next thing we might have to do is we might have to find it. Um, we might have to do it finding um, it from an equation. So if we're going to do that, to find the y-intercept, we're going to substitute x equals 0 into the equation because x equals 0 is on the y-axis. And to find the x-intercept from an equation, we're going to substitute y equals 0 into the equation because y equals 0 is on the x-axis. Okay, so we'll get to an example for that. Let's have a look for examples for our first type. Read off the x and y-intercepts from the table and graph. Remember, x-intercept y equals 0. y equals 0 here. So the x-intercept is equal to 2. So x-intercept equals 2 because y is equal to 0. Finding the y-intercept, y-intercept, x equals 0. Let's go and find x equals 0 in here. There it is, y equals 6, y-intercept equals 6. That's where x equals 0. Looking at our graph, x-intercept, even easier. Where does it cross the x-axis? There it is, x-intercept minus 4. That's where it cuts the x-axis. And finally, our y-intercept is where it's cutting the y-axis. There it is. Y-intercept equals 5. Okay, now we look at our um, finding. Our next one is the example is going to be finding them from an equation. So first we're finding the y-intercept from an equation. So find the y-intercept of the following equations. y equals 2x minus 1. Remember, at the y-intercept, x equals 0. So let's just substitute 0 into x in that equation. y equals 2 times 0 minus 1. 2 times 0 is 0. So really, in this, if you're thinking, you can just look at it and you can just cross out the x value. You don't even worry about substituting it in. Just pretend it's not there and have a look at it and you're going to get... So pretend it's not there. We would go, all right, you're not there. I can't see you. y equals minus 1 is going to be our equation, our intercept. So the y-intercept is minus 1. Similarly, that is um, just two different ways that we can have our equations for lines. Another way we can have an our equation for lines is this one, and we're going to do that. Um, that's called the general form, and the other one on the left side is called the um, intercept and gradient form, which we are going to look at tomorrow, or next lesson, sorry, not tomorrow. Someone's going to tell me even on video that tomorrow is Saturday. So, so again, substitute 0 into x. 3 times 0 plus 3y equals 6. Again, as soon as we know there's 0 in there, you can basically just know that we're crossing out that one. That one's disappearing. And we have 3y equals 6. And then we just have to do it via our equations. And these will all be pretty simple. So... We know we've got 3 times y. Inverse operation of division is divide. So we divide 3y by 3. And that is because 3y is y plus y plus y. So dividing it by 3 gives us y. We split it into 3 parts when we divide it by 3. y, 6 divided into 3 parts is 2. y equals 2. Our y-intercept is 2. Having a look at the x-intercept from an equation, we have find the x-intercept from the following equations, y equals 2x plus 4. This is going to be slightly more difficult. Remember when at the x-intercept, y is 0. So substitute y, 0 into y. So in this we're going to have 0 equals 2x plus 4. We do the same thing as far as rearranging our equation goes. I need to get x on one side of the equation. I need to have the number on the other side of the equation. So the way I do that is I get rid of this thing. So the way I get rid of that side is negative 4. Do that to both sides. It's going to give me minus 4 equals 2x. Now what I need to do is I need to get x by itself. I've got 2x, which is x plus x. I want to split it into 2. So I'm going to divide it by 2. And when I divide um, minus 4 by 2, if I split that in half, I get minus 2 on both sides. Minus 2 equals x. 
looking at the other form of the equation again for this one this one's easier but for this form again we are going to have substitute zero into our into our y value so substituting our zero into the y value 3x minus 2 times 0 equals 12. Again, if you're putting 0 into something and multiplying it, you can just pretend that that thing's gone. You get 3x equals 12. And again, just like our other one, uh, 3x, x plus x plus x. To get x by itself, we need to split it into 3, so we need to divide it by 3. Um, so we divide that one by 3, we end up with x. 12 divided by 3 is going to give us 3 fours. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So x equals 4. And I guess I should have written under both of these. x intercept equals 4. And x intercept over here is equal to minus 2. Okay, so have a go at the equation at the work for today. I haven't put it in yet, but you'll see it very shortly. Have a great day and a great weekend.